Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel here at Blooming Raw. Today's video is another what I eat in a day video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. To start off the day, I'm making myself some juice. This is probably one of my favorites for the summertime, starting off by chopping up some apples as well as some colorful rainbow carrots. I love carrots and my juices, you guys are so good. And I also decided to add in some beet, which gives the juice that earthy taste that I just love. I know a lot of people actually don't like beets and think they just taste like dirt, but I personally love them and they are just loaded with so many beneficial nutrients, phytochemicals, antioxidants, all that good stuff. I I also decided to add in some oranges. Guys, these Valencia oranges were so sweet and juicy. I was literally cutting them up and just eating them. Luke was literally like, are you gonna save some for juicing? And I'm just like, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> I just, I couldn't resist. They smelled so freaking incredible. They were just perfect. I'm adding my oranges first into my juicer. I'm using the Nama J2 for those of you that are curious. It's my all time favorite juicer ever. It's perfect for batch juicing. It literally saves so much time and so much money. I love it. Then I'm gonna add in my beets. I absolutely love that gorgeous dark red burgundy color of beetroot. I think it's so beautiful and it makes my body just feel so good when I consume it. I added in my carrots as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in my apples just to sweeten up the juice a bit more. And then of course, gotta do my raw food happy dance because yeah, a raw food just gets me excited and makes me wanna dance, even though I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna now take my strainer and pour my juice into it, get rid of all that leftover pulp, and then I'm going to mix it up to get a perfect balance of all of the delicious flavors. Now I'm gonna grab myself a mason jar, add me in some ice, cause you guys already know I like my juices cold. That's just my preference. And then I'm gonna pour in my juice. Look at that gorgeous color, oh, I'm obsessed. Luke and I thought it looked like Kool-Aid, obviously. <laughs> obviously a much healthier version, um, but I actually haven't thought of a name of this juice yet. So let me know in the comment section below what you would call this juice. I also decided to chop up some lime. Lime adds such a nice touch to this juice. It just gives it a nice tangy twist to it. This drink is the perfect blend of tart, earthy, and sweet. Absolutely perfect for the summer heat. A little later, I decided to head down to the pool. I wanted to keep the red theme going for the day, so I put on this cute little red bikini that I just bought. I'm obsessed with it. I was clearly feeling myself, as you guys could tell. By the way, thank you guys so much for the sweet comments on my recent Day in My Life video in response to a comment I addressed on body image. I think it's so important to remember that you're beautiful regardless of the shape or size of your body, that you don't have to look a certain way to be considered healthy or a true vegan or raw vegan, whatever that means. You're beautiful regardless. But anyways, for breakfast, I decided to have a berry chia pudding smoothie. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> uh, it's super quick and easy to make. Start off by adding in some frozen bananas, some frozen blueberries, blue spirulina powder, some raw vanilla protein, some delicious coconut water from Harmless Harvest. I was clearly struggling. I don't know why I always struggle to open up their freaking bottles. Anyways, oh, I also added in some frozen mixed berries as well. Almost forgot about that. And I'm gonna blend it up until it becomes a creamy and smooth consistency. So I started off here by adding a pretty generous amount of chia seeds at the bottom of my mason jar. And then I layered my smoothie on top of that. I put some more chia seeds towards the middle and then topped it off with some more smoothie. I absolutely love to do this because when the chia seeds finally soak into that smoothie, the seeds start to expand and it becomes like this pudding-like consistency in your mouth. Oh, it's heaven. I topped it off with some frozen blackberries and that's breakfast, you guys. How amazing does this look? So good, right? This has probably been my go-to breakfast over the past couple weeks. It's just so filling and so satisfying. Luke and I then spent some quality time on the patio with Luce, you know, just chilling, eating our breakfast, having a great conversation. Luke made himself a plant-based sandwich. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Luke is not raw like myself. He's just plant-based. Um, and he's been plant-based for a while now. He's already lost nearly 30 pounds in such a short period of time. So um, he's absolutely thriving on the plant-based lifestyle. But yeah, we just enjoyed each other's company. This moment right here, you guys, was just like the best. Honestly, these are the moments that I live for. Just 
get in to hang out with my two favorite boys. Now a few words about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspirational classes. So if you have a specific skill set you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. They have illustration, photography, marketing classes, literally everything, you name it. If you want to create your own brand and are interested in how to create a logo, Skillshare's got you. The class I'm currently taking is called Raw Vegan Mushroom Salad and Avocado Dip by Luisa Diaz. Luisa is a raw food content creator and restaurant owner with a culinary background. She posts instructional videos focused around her passion and love for raw living foods and she shares lots of creative raw vegan and vegan recipes. I've been following Luisa for quite a while. Essentially this class has taught me how to properly prepare raw food as well as what specific foods pair good together to make a raw dish even more satisfying and enjoyable. Honestly it can be somewhat difficult for me to sometimes find creative inspiration for my raw vegan recipes so having these types of classes on Skillshare taught by raw food chefs and raw culinary artists have been super beneficial for me. I'm always looking to find inspiration for my future recipe ebooks and food blog that I'm going to create in the near future. Um, Luisa's classes really inspire me and challenge me to think outside of the box when I create my own recipes. So if you guys are looking for creative raw vegan meal ideas, Skillshare offers so many of these classes that you guys can check out. If you're looking for cooked vegan meal recipes, they also offer those types of classes as well. All right guys, so if you guys are curious about Skillshare and just wanna check it out for yourself, feel free to click the link in the description box below and the first thousand people to click on it will get a free one month trial with Skillshare. Skillshare is an absolutely great way to just learn a new skill set and explore your overall creativity. So I would highly recommend it, check it out. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump back into it. All right guys, for lunch, I'm making my mango sweet and spicy salsa recipe. I'm chopping up some fresh organic corn. This corn was literally going everywhere, you guys. I was making such a mess. Um, but anyways, I also decided to add in some cherry tomatoes. These were so freaking delicious and sweet. They were just perfect. Um, I also decided to add one regular on the vine tomato. It's the only one I had in my fridge, so I figured I'd use it in this recipe. I also decided to chop up some delicious red mangoes. These were incredible. Um, honestly, I haven't gotten really lucky with red mangoes lately. The ones I've been getting recently have just like no flavor at all. So I've just been eating mostly honey mangoes, but I was just like, you know what? Let me give it another try. You know, why not? So I was actually pleasantly surprised. They were freaking juicy and actually sweet. So yeah, that was a victory for me. Um, decided to scoop out the mangoes and then cut them up into little bitty chunks. Also for my salsa, I decided to chop up some green onion. The onion just adds such a nice flavor to the salsa. If you don't have green onion, you can always add a red onion. I just feel like it tastes better with the green. I also chopped up some jalapeno for some more flavor because y'all know your girl likes to spice things up. Honestly, a bit too much at times, but <laughs> the pepper just adds such a nice flavor and gives it that nice subtle kick. A little tip if you don't want the salsa to be as spicy, then take out the little seeds of the jalapeno. Um, but if you're daring like me, then keep them. The hotter the better, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna add all my ingredients into a bowl, starting with the tomatoes, corn, mango, lots of mango, <laughs> green onion, jalapeno, and micro cilantro. So delicious. I like to mix it up with my hands because I personally just love the feel of it just feeling all those different textures of the food and it's just so fun to do gotta of course make sure your hands are clean though that's a must or you know you could just use a spoon like a normal person <laughs> but anyways how amazing does this look you guys just look at all of those beautiful colors you want to make sure that you're getting in some color in your food daily you guys colorful foods equal life they give you so much energy, so much vibrancy and vitality. You guys, this salsa smells so good. Luce was like, mommy, can I get some? He was literally begging me. <laughs> he is too stinking cute. I love him so much. I then grab some romaine leaves and then put my mango salsa on top. Um, if you're looking for a substitute for the romaine leaves, you can try it with nori sheets. This recipe is just as good, I promise. I personally love it either way, but 
yeah, just adding a very generous amount of the mango salsa on each piece of lettuce here. I also decided to add some delicious avocado slices on top to get in those healthy fats, as well as I sprinkled on some more dried cilantro on top just to, I don't know, I guess make it look extra pretty, I guess. <laughs> and then I decided to add some raw vegan brand dressing, which added such a nice touch, might I add. And uh, yeah, you can simply leave that out if you want to. I think the tacos taste just fine without it. But if you want to add it and you're curious on how to make it, I'll link the video above. But oh my goodness, you guys, these tacos were absolutely amazing. They were so bomb, like literally absolute fire. The perfect blend of spicy meets sweet. All of the flavors combined were absolutely amazing. And it's so simple and easy to make. If you want something quick, but still tastes tasty and delicious, you need this mango taco salsa recipe in your life. For a midday snack, I went over to my fruit stash. I couldn't decide what fruit I wanted to have. It all looked and smelled amazing. I had some oranges, mangoes, avocados, lemon and lime, grapes, nectarines, peaches, cherimoyas, and some melon. I went with the grapes. They were so freaking sweet and satisfying and hydrating. Um, they just tend to fill me up the most um, than any. <laughs> He literally almost choked on a grape. Anyways, I typically like to do a um, fruit motto meal before dinner just because my dinners are higher fat. But yeah, Luke and I just chilled again for a bit, shared some laughs, some fruit, and watched a bit of TV and just relaxed. For dinner, I'm making my basil zoodle pesto pasta recipe. I start off making the pesto sauce, adding into my Vitamix, a handful of fresh basil, some pine nuts, lemon juice, olive oil, and a blend of salt and pepper. I'll put the exact recipe in the description box below for you guys to reference. Now I'm gonna make my zoodles. I'm gonna spiralize up two zucchinis. I'll put the link to the spiralizer in the description box as well. And yeah, I just love making zoodles, you guys. They are so fun and they're just a great way to just add some creativity to any raw dish. Now I'm gonna add my zoodles and cherry tomatoes into a large bowl, put in my pesto sauce, drizzle that baby on top and mix it up with my hands once again. <laughs> And when the sauce is all nice and tossed up, it is time to serve. I also added some dried basil on top and that's it you guys. How amazing does this recipe look? For those of you that may be looking to wean yourself off of pasta, this is a great alternative. It's super tasty and freaking delicious. It's so satisfying as well. If you guys decide to create this recipe or any of the recipes I've shared throughout this video, please tag me in your pictures on Instagram. I'd love to see them. You like it? Well, Scale one to 10. <laughs> all right guys that wraps up today's what i eat in a day video i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below if you guys want to keep up with me daily i can be found on instagram twitter and tiktok all at blooming raw thank you again to skillshare for sponsoring today's video i love you all so much and until next time bye